If you're camping at Yellowstone, this is a must do. They wouldn't let us out of our trailer because there was an elk right in front of our door. I guess our kids just don't like boring hikes. They like up and down and pretty extreme, but not too long. <laughs> to Mammoth Hot Spring Campground and uh, this is first come first serve campground and you're supposed to come in and stand in line They assign you a number as the sites begin to clear they tell you which site to take so we are number eight we're here at 753 we were planning to be here at seven in the morning and didn't make it <laughs> even though it, we were up at six but we didn't realize it was a 45 minute drive to get here. And um, super excited. This campground doesn't have any hookups, so you gotta have plenty of water and wow. supplies. But apparently there's elk that ventures into this campground. Super excited to see. We already saw a bunch of herds on the side of the road. Very, very cool. <laughs> we have an awesome campsite. It's site number 24 with gorgeous views, bathrooms next door, water right over there. It's really awesome. Like, it's partially shaded, but we kind of want the sun because it's cold. We're almost ready to go. I just gotta go shut off the generator. Let me show you that, by the way. So this is the generator that I got. It's uh, it's by Honda, and it's very quiet. You could probably still hear me talk. So yeah, it's been pretty awesome. It's working out great this time around. I picked this up in Portland. Uh, so now we can run our blender and Instapot and charge all the batteries if we need to. So it's real lightweight and it's portable. So it's pretty cool. Let me just lock this up and we'll be on our way. First day in Yellowstone, we're going to Norris Geyser. So this is our first stop, really. Met some people from Netherlands with their cool Fiat RV. Those are always awesome. Love to talk to foreigners at national parks. So let's go check it out, see what it is. I guess we're coming up to Steamboat Geyser. Is that what it is? Yeah. The anticipation is crazy. I can't wait to see it. I see smoke, well steam in this case, and it kind of smells like sulfur.
This is called the Ledge Geyser. It sounds like a locomotive. It's insane. So cool. geyser that we just seen has erupted last night at midnight that's what they said and the prior eruption was September 11th and uh, so it's a little more active today than it was than it normally is and right now we're gonna go see the old faithful and hopefully we can well not hopefully we'll definitely see the eruption because we're just gonna wait we packed our lunch and a bunch of snacks we're just gonna hang around there it's probably gonna take us another half an hour to 45 minutes to get there. Driving around here is pretty slow. We just got to Old Faithful Geyser. Yeah, we have no idea how long is still the next eruption, but we are walking in right now and we're gonna have a picnic right here. Parking lot here is really big, but even in the middle of September there's plenty of cars, so if you tow in your giant trailer, it's probably not the best idea to tow it with you. If you're driving a class B or whatever A or something like that, that's not not too big, you're probably fine. <laughs> it doesn't look like there's a lot of people here actually, there's plenty of seating. They're predicting that it's going to erupt in about an hour. They're just gonna eat and maybe run to the car and get a tripod or something. Well, that was totally awesome. There is nothing like seeing this thing in person. So right now we're going in the visitor center. We're gonna get a stamp. 
or Yellowstone National Park. We're about to go see Grand Prismatic Spring. It's really, really iconic. It's pretty cool. Love the colors on it. It's blue and orange, but I haven't seen it in person yet. It's draining into the river right over here. It's just really cool. So we pulled over to see this falls. Nadia's getting so tired, she just stayed in the car. Uh, and Daria wanted to come and check it out with me. There's just so many places to see here. It's almost impossible to stop by and see all of them. Uh, but it's really cool. Surprisingly, met a lot of people from Ohio out of all places. I've been looking for a buffalo and this is really epic. We're right in the middle of construction. This thing just strolling on a highway. Just taking a taking a walk. Yeah, it's about seven o'clock in the morning and there's elk walking around all over this campground. So cool. <laughs> yeah, I tried to show you. They were literally walking right around our trailer and right now there's uh, a few right over here. They're just kind of in the bushes. But uh, let's turn this around so you can see. So that was pretty cool. Then we're just gonna go back, have some breakfast, and uh, get out again. Go see, see if we could spot a bear. We're just waiting for the elk to go away, making sure nobody goes out of the trailer. Look at the luckiest spot in the house. Okay. Now we just. Okay. Getting near. So beautiful. Literally, I haven't had an elk on here. It's just so close. Yowzers. Day two at Yellowstone. They wouldn't let us out of our trailer because there was an elk right in front of our door. They're very protective of their elk. Uh, the elk had gigantic antlers, and I was scared for the life of my husband. <laughs> yeah, pretty cool. So we're just getting on the road and we're gonna go try to explore the other side of the park. It's really, really nice here. Um, I feel like we're barely scratching the surface. We're going to see the lower falls of the Yellowstone River. There is an upper falls and a lower falls. 
the lower one is a shorter hike, so that's where we're going. So this trail is 600 feet elevation difference. We're currently gaining 600 feet, so it's all uphill. And it's paved, but it's very uneven. So you gotta be very cautious when you're walking. And we're, we are really high up. I definitely feel the elevation in my breathing. Daria walked most of the way which is good, and the boys haven't complained, which is always a good thing. We're gonna go and see the falls from a different view and have lunch and probably head back. Right now we're going on a northern rim trail that's leading to another viewpoint of the waterfalls. We're coming up to the falls and I don't know about you but I love the sound of the waterfall. Just the rush of water is just so cool. Apparently today we did a good amount of hiking but I guess the trick today we drive, we do a short little hike, uh, then we had a little snack by the car and then we're just doing another hike right now and everybody's doing extremely well. I guess our kids just don't like boring hikes. They like up and down and pretty extreme, but not too long. <laughs> We're in Yellowstone, the land of hot springs. And we're gonna go to the Boiling River. So what it is, where Yellowstone River meets with a smaller, I'm not sure what the name of it is, hot river. It creates Boiling a warm river. pool. And there is people swimming in it. You can dip your toes. It's about halfway between the north entrance and the Mammoth Campground. It's now marked. And there's two little parking lots and maybe half a mile, maybe less, walk to the actual place. We have our swimming suits, our towels, and we're gonna go see and experience this thing. The male elk actually circled around and almost went after the people. They were like just there taking pictures. They had to climb up the cliff. Yeah, they're very protective of their herd. You gotta stay away from them. I've actually seen two female elk hoof each other or whatever it is. It was pretty scary. No idea 
idea whose idea it was. It's, the rocks are slippery. And this river is freezing. We should have brought our thermometer from home. Cooking. Just to see how it is. Behind me, it's like boiling. Over here, it's cold. It's really weird because you can feel like the little currents of warm and uh, cold at the same time and the river is really pushing you away. The current is pretty strong so hold on to your kids. <laughs> If you're camping at Yellowstone, this is a must do. A highlight to our trip for sure. So awesome. You just gotta find the right spot in the river because it's kind of patchy depending how the water mixes. You know, you're supposed to go from the hot to cold, from cold to hot. This is what we're doing. <laughs> One second it's hot, the other second it's cold. Kind of like Finnish sauna. Kind of like Finnish sauna. <laughs> I think we're completely yellowstoned out already. So this is our last stop. And we're going to leave. I can understand. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> totally. And we can probably we're hoping I'm planning to pull out tonight, but I don't think it's gonna happen. I think we'll pull out tomorrow. I mean and winter advisory is for this area tomorrow morning. <laughs> Cemetery, cemetery. So it's not hot. <laughs> 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 